All right, everybody, welcome to Star Art. My name is Mr. Dick. I am the director of Foskett Ranch and the art coordinator for Star, for those who don't know me. Uh, today, we're going to do a little bit different uh, art lesson. We're going to do a little bit of a video, and then you and your teacher there at your site will be doing the same project along with the video. So today, we're going to be working with spray paint animal silhouettes with Mr. Dick. So today, we're going to be using a little bit of spray paint, which your teachers will actually control because it's kind of permanent. Uh, we're going to be working with animals and a silhouette. Uh, but first, we want to talk about the awesome artist list. For those who don't know, we always have the awesome artist list. We've got our Superboy, our Supergirl, and then our Super Duper Spot. Today's Super Duper Spot will be the Super Duper Spray Paint Squirrel. So whoever's doing the best job and trying their best and following their art expectations will be our Super Duper Artist. We have four star expectations in art. Number one, making sure you raise a quiet hand if you need help. Number two, making sure you try your best. Number three, wait to touch materials until teachers tell you. And number four, make sure you have fun. And we also have a secret expectation, which is you must try three times before asking for help. Otherwise, you're not really trying hard, are you? Which breaks our expectation number two, which is try your best. So today, we're gonna to be doing a little bit of spray paint. Uh, and the reason for that is because it creates a really cool textural pattern on the paper uh, and it helps to blend colors easier than actually using a brush or anything like that and it gives it a different look. So today we have some steps that are going to be working uh, for our project. We have number one, pick an animal. Number two, sketch a silhouette. Number three, cut it out. Number four, move to the teacher designated spray zone. And number five, you get to pick three colors that your teacher will spray around your silhouette. Now, I keep saying this word silhouette. You're probably wondering, Mr. Dick, what is a silhouette? Well, a silhouette is simply a shape with no details or designated lines inside because we just want the shape of the animal. So you're going to sketch it in pencil first, and then we'll cut it out. So I picked a seahorse because it's a pretty cool animal. And two, it creates a really nice shape for our spray paint effect. So we will be using the spray paint in a moment. Um, when we spray it, it's going to go around your silhouette, so you see it kind of looks pretty cool. You get to pick two or three colors. I picked yellow and red for right now because they create kind of a cool little pattern on the paper. When with yellow and red mixed together, they make what color? Orange. That's right. So you get a little bit of extra color in there with the spray paint uh, because the two colors or three colors will mix together. So when your teacher excuses you, you're going to go to the table and you're going to try to sketch your animal as large as possible because you're going to have a large sheet of paper. And once your animal is sketched out, we might trace it in Sharpie just to make it uh, more defined so you can see it a little bit better. Then after you have it all sketched out, you're going to cut it out. Now, once you've cut it out, you're going to move to the teacher designated spray zone and you will see how it works. Also, a little hint for the teachers is if you stick a couple pieces of the tape on the back of the silhouette, it will help us stay the paper so that way the silhouette shape will be more pronounced. So. If you have any questions, you can raise a quiet hand and ask your teacher right now. They are already looking for our super boy, our super girl, and our super duper artist. My friends are listening really well. Now, you don't have to do a seahorse. Remember, you can pick any animal you want, but simple shapes are a little bit easier, like a simple shape of a bunny, simple shape of a wolf, simple shape of an elephant, things like that. So just think about how uh, the animal might look without the details in their face, pretty much just doing the outside lines just the contour lines. Once you're finally finished, you're gonna to move to your spray zone. Our spray zone is over here for today. I'm gonna to bring my colors with me, so that way we can uh, show you exactly how it's gonna work. Right, so I put a few pieces of tape on the back of my silhouette, so that way it'll stick to the paper a little bit better. So we're gonna put it on the paper, we're gonna push it down. Now your teacher's gonna do the spraying because the paint will actually stay in your hands for a couple of days, it's kind of permanent. Hint to the teachers, you might wanna wear gloves. I'm a professional, I don't care about that. So all you're going to do is tape it down, stick it on the paper, and you're going to spray directly around the silhouette itself. So that way you get the colors uh, going around that the student chose, and so that way their shape is going to be really pronounced. So you notice I'm kind of covering up the silhouette. I'm also going to spray some around the outside just to make the design that much more completed. Once it dries for a few minutes, you're going to remove the silhouette. If you have a lot of students, a lot of lines, you might need two spray zones. Also, if it's that much of a hurry, you can always put it on the drying rack uh, and pull off the silhouette later. But we're just gonna do it right now so you can kind of see the effect of 
the spray. As you can see, I'm kind of peeling it off. The students can keep their silhouette if they want. If not, in the rips or something, you can just toss it. But if you see, it comes out really amazing at the end and you get a really cool artistic design. Don't worry about if little colors get in the silhouette as long as you see the main shape. So it's been great having you here with me today. Hopefully you guys learn a lot with your teachers. If you have any questions, make sure you ask your teachers at your site with a quiet raised hand. Try your best and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.